What's good, YouTube? It's y'all boy E back with another banger. So today, straight to the point, how to three wheel motion. So for all my new subscribers, people that's wondering how you three wheel, I'm gonna just do a quick tutorial on how to three wheel or if people come across this video and they, and they you know, you've seen low riders before and you, you don't know exactly how it's done, your boy gonna show you exactly how it's done. Now, some builds are different. Um, some builds three wheel different. Some have to be, um, you can raise them up in the back end like my old Regal I had. You can raise it up in the back end, drop corner, corner, it'll come up on three. Um, some you have to do it from the ground up. My Lincoln, specifically this one, I have to three wheel um, with uh, front up and from corner, corner. I can't three wheel um, from having the back end up and just dropping a corner. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate that for y'all in a second. So let me show you what needs to be done before you three wheel and then I'm gonna get into the three wheel and that's how it's done. Let's go. So when you first three wheel, you always want your front locked up. Now when I first started low riding maybe 12 years ago, um, my boy Ruben, he told me, E, always have your front end locked up. So let's lock that front end up. Hit your front switch. So always have your front end locked up. Without your front end locked up, you could damage um, your front quarter panel. Um, I mean your front, your front panel, your front, you know, front end. You could uh, damage um, undercarriage in your front control arms and stuff like that. Because when you three wheel, the front is going to be so low to the ground. If you don't raise it up, you could definitely damage something. So whenever you three wheel, you always want to have it locked up. Um, have that pressure in those cylinders, that fluid, um, and you good to go. So that's first step. First step, you always want to have your front end locked up. So front end is locked up. See, so I got my four switches. So now when it comes to three wheeling, now for me personally, according to where I'm at, if I'm in traffic, sometimes I like to tap, 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 and lean it over. If I'm going into a show, car show, car meet, Whatever, I, I sometimes I just lay it over. I just hold it, lay it over. Um, the only reason I tap it up in traffic sometimes is because if some people might not know it's a low rider, and some people do know it's a low rider, but for the people that don't know it's a low rider, if you just go up into a three wheel motion um, and you're the only one and you're not riding with the homies and you're the only one, sometimes it can scare people. And by me being a truck driver, um, Sometimes you want to be cautious of the people around you. So if I just give it like a little tap, 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 they actually see the car moving and they know, okay, it's a low rider, has hydraulics. Then I lay it over as I'm tapping it. Um, and sometimes, like I said, if you're with the homies, I might just be in that mood, get your music going and you lay it over, you know? So like I said, specifically for my low rider, I have to do from the ground, front locked up, lay it over so my first three wheel i'm gonna demonstrate for y'all that will be me tapping the driver's side switch up 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 until it lays all the way over then i'm gonna show y'all how i bring it down um usually i just tap it lightly and then tap it again to bring it all the way down instead of just dropping it violently then i'm gonna show y'all a three wheel with just holding the switch up and laying it over so let's get it all right so now i'm gonna demonstrate Tap, 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 laying it over. Let's go. Bring it down. All right, so this time I'm gonna three wheel it just by holding the switch and laying it over. Enjoyed it. Yeah, let me get a video like and subscribe. Yeah. And I'll check y'all out later. 